Hello friends, good morning. I am Prasad Bosle. Welcome to you to Knowledge Institute. In our earlier lecture series, we have started with uh, pharmacy uh, diploma syllabus, and we have completed the community pharmacy syllabus of first year in diploma. We are soon going to start the clinical pharmacy uh, lecture series. But along with that, uh, from today, we are starting with the lecture series, which will uh, comprise of the drugs acting on different systems. Okay. Most of the questions come from this part, and uh, as I have said, uh, you should read first diploma books uh, from Nirali Prakashan. So from that you will have a basic understanding, and it will help you for your um, easy preparation and solving questions. So from this lecture, we are starting with the digestive system, drugs acting on digestive system, and um, and after next lecture we will con uh, compare, um, take the drugs like on uh, the blood. Uh, antibacterials and all that. Okay, so let's start with the first slide. So this is the drugs acting on uh, uh, GI systems, and the first is the peptic ulcer. So what are the drugs used for the peptic ulcer? Actually, I have my Telegram group. Okay, so if you want to understand how and where these drugs act, okay, along with the diagram, so I will. Uh, at the link in the description okay of this telegram group you should join it and there i will uh, share my uh, pdf images of that that notes actually i have drawn the diagram actually they are uh, of as a a4 size so i will i was not able to share it on this powerpoint so you could uh, join the telegram group and you share and you search for this diagram so what will happen with this uh, with those diagrams is that you will able to understand where these drugs actually act all these H2 antihistamines and you will no longer to uh, require to remember these groups okay because that is the problem when you don't know where these drugs will act what will happen or what may happen is that you will remember the uh, class or drugs also but you will not know where they act whether they are used in peptic ulcer, in migraine or something else, right? So that can happen. So that's why you join this telegram group and you search for that PDF image. Okay, so you will understand the basic uh, morphology or anatomy of the body and where these uh, drugs will act. Okay, so let's start with the, there are four uh, types of drugs in gastric acid secretion inhibitors, which are the H2 antihistamines, prostaglandin analogs, proton pump inhibitors, and anticholinergics. <coughs> right, sorry. <coughs> so, the H2 antihistamines. The two, there, I will also share some short trick to remember these drug cells. Okay. So, the trick to remember this, the H2 antihistamines drugs is F C R R F C R R. Okay, there are two main types under this H2 antihistamines. So basically, what uh, non-competitive and competitive. Famotidine is non-competitive. Uh, CRR means cimetidine, ranitidine, doxetidine. These are competitive. Okay, so out of this, cimetidine is the first H2 blocker. This is the important point. First H2 blocker, and uh, Mainly all these H2 antihistamines, uh, antihistamines are used in Zollinger, Ellison syndrome. Okay, so all these syndromes we will also uh, cover in some other uh, topic. Okay, where we will study all these types of uh, syndromes and what are they? Okay, so now right now I'm not going to explain this. So H2 antihistamines are also called as noct nocturnal are used for nocturnal secretion or NSA acids related secretion okay non steroidal and inflammatory drugs related secretion okay so you should remember this f c r r amotidine non competitive others are competitive next class is prostaglandin analogs it is misoprostol okay so the nsci is associated with uh, gastrointestinal injury and blood loss it is used in nsci associated injuries prostaglandin analogs misoprostol the question will be asked right from this point, okay? Which is out of this, which is the prostaglandin analog? Mr. Prostaglandin will be the answer. 
Next class is very much important proton pump inhibitors. All the prazoles, all the prazoles are proton pump inhibitors, right? So which are those? Semoprazole, esomoprazole, lansoprazole, pantoprazole, espantoprazole, rabeprazole, doxorabeprazole, all these, right? And what this does is they react covalently with self hydro group of H plus K plus ATP enzyme and inactivate it irreversible. This is the mechanism of action. Although mechanism of action of proton pump inhibitors will not be asked. You know, mechanism of action uh, will be asked mostly of uh, antibacterials and antimicrobials. Antimicrobials. Okay. So still remember it. And one important point is clarithromycin inhibits the omeprazole metabolism. Okay. So what you should do, you should not get the clarithromycin or omeprazole. Otherwise, omeprazole side effects will increase. Okay. Next class is anticholinergics. Atropinic drugs reduce the volume of gastric juice without raising its pH. When unless there is food in the stomach. Okay. And you, what is the trick to remember is is a uh, pipe rocks pipe rocks what does it will stand pipe rocks pyrenzepine pro for propanthaline and ox for oxyphenonium okay such kind of tricks you will have to invent otherwise it would be very difficult to remember right so it this is the anticholinergic so what are the four classes under proton under acid, gastric acid secretion inhibitors, the first is H2 antihistamine. Second is prostaglandin analog. Third is proton pump inhibitors. So the last one is anticholinergics. What are the do, uh, drugs under H2 antihistamines? The drugs are SCRR, amotidine, imetidine, ranitidine, doxetidine. Prostaglandin analogs is only one. Misoprostol, which is used as Gastric acid secretion inhibitors in this case. Next one is proton pump inhibitors, all the prazoles. Anticholinergic are what? Pipe rocks. Arenzepine, propanthelin, oxyphenonium. Okay. Next class in peptic ulcer is gastric acid neutralizers or actually called as antacids. Right. So there are two types mainly the systemic and non systemic. Before that, let's understand what is acid neutralizing capacity, ANC, of an antacid. The point to remember here is that it is defined as a number of middle equivalent of one normal HCl. Okay, it's not H2SO4, it's not uh, acetic acid. It is HCl because it is HCl because it is present in our stomach, right? And how much it is? It is one normal HCl, and that are brought to pH 3.5 in 15 minutes or 16 minutes. So time may not be asked, but they may ask the pH, which is 3.5. Okay. So remember this definition. Next is the two types, systemic and non-systemic. The systemic antacids are sodium bicarbonate and sodium sulfate, or you can remember as sodium salt, right? Sodium bicarbonate, sodium sulfate. Next class is non-systemic antacids. Non-systemic are magnesium hydroxide, aluminium hydroxide, magnesium trisilicate, calcium carbonate. And there are few important points to remember out of this. And what are those? Milk of magnesia. It is nothing but what? Magnesium hydroxide. Right? And why it is important? The question has already been asked. What is milk of magnesia? You should remember it is magnesium hydroxide. Okay, the magnesium salts, plus magnesium salts have laxative effects. And uh, the next important point is magnesium salts have laxative effect, right? And the aluminium containing are what? Constipating effect. Okay, because of this problem, Margold rate has been formulated and what is the Margold rate it is a hydrated complex of hydroxy magnesium aluminate okay and what it releases uh, it releases alum hydroxide after that it reacts slowly okay and uh, as it contains both 
in the constituting in uh, uh, what is the laxity if it is counterbalanced right so these are the important points of this next is calcium carbonate but uh, you know the calcium carbonate is chalk okay you can stop this acidity from calcium carbonate but the problem will be that it will give a uh, severe or a mark rebound acidity what does it uh, mean that after some time the acidity will increase more than it was earlier okay so that's why calcium carbonate is not a good choice then is what is the milk alkali syndrome milk alkali syndrome is that in the past the milk was prescribed with calcium carbonate right or sodium bicarbonate also for peptides but what it was showing is what it was showing the headache anorexia weakness abdominal ab, abdominal discomfort abnormal calcium deposits or renal stones so all this set of syndromes was associated with this milk along given along with calcium carbonate so this is called as milk alkali syndrome next is ulcer protective so next class in peptic ulcer is ulcer protective so coralfet the two drugs are there so coralfet and cbs okay and it is available as pepsi guard light gel so this can be a question what's the content of the pepsi guard light gel it is sucar alpha and what is the trick to remember is that what i have made it like in hindi shukar hai mera ulcer aur cup ठीक हो गया शुक्र है मेरा अल्सर और कब से ठीक हो गया शुक्र है एस यू सी फॉर शुक्र अल्फेट अल्सर इट इज यूज फॉर अल्सर प्रोटेक्टिव कब सी बी एस इज स्ट्रॉन्ग फॉर ओके दिस इज कैन बी योर ट्रिक ओके यू कैन मेक योर ओन ट्रिक्स नो प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट क्लास एंड फाइनल क्लास इज एंटी एच फाइलोरी ड्रग्स एंटी फाइलोरी आर ग्राम इट इज a gram negative bacillus remember this gram negative bacillus and the usfda approved regimen is what lansoprazole amoxicillin clarithromycin right sorry lanso amox clarithro in tropical regions triple drug regime of any ppi plus amox plus clarithro is used okay and in a four drug regimen is also prescribed in some time it contains ppi plus cbs plus metronidazole plus tetracycline okay so although the questions we are less likely to be asked from this one but you just just remember the names amoxicillin glycosamine lansoprazole tetracycline right and along with it is used along with proton pump inhibitors next class is anti emetics emetic is what vomiting hmm. vomiting center is situated where it is situated that question is called also be asked it is situated in medulla oblongata hmm. it also has the chemo receptor trigger zone it is located where area postrema and the nucleus tractus solitarius are the most important relay areas okay you will get the idea of this hmm. as i have said uh, join the telegram group okay here i will share that image right next is the, the emetic switch are the two sites acting on ctz chemo receptor trigger zone which is located in area postrema and which are acts reflexively and on ctz the two types are apomorphin is that it they act on ctz and reflexively is epic act right now, now let's see the classes okay there are so there are five classes okay six classes first is anticholinergics and what are the two anticholinergics used it is hyoscine and thai clomine right whether they are using antiemetic okay so not the trick will not be possible every time so you just make your own team and remember anticholinergic hyoscine and thai clomine next one is h1 antihistaminic right so oh, there are many drugs but important is abomine because you may have had it earlier 
right apamine it contains what promethazine and uh, actually i have prepared one trick okay the trick says like dimen synarme docs ko dekhte hain aur what dimen synarme साइकिल पे प्रोमनाइट के लिए जाते हैं यू मस्ट नो द प्रोमनाइट फॉर दिस ट्रिक राइट इन दैट प्रोमनाइट सो दे मे ड्रिंक अल्कोहल एंड ऑल दैट सो दे मे फील इनवेसिस एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द एडिशनल ट्रिक इज दैट समवेयर अराउंड दैट प्रोमनाइट यू सी अ डॉग हॉरिबल डॉग राइट दैट्स वाई हिस्टाम योर बॉडी गेट रिलीज So now, how you should remember all these names in H1 antihistamine? Let's see one by one. Dimen, Sinar, Sinar is a town in somewhere, right? In India, in uh, Maharashtra, I think. Dimen, Sinar, me. Prom, cycle pe, sorry, cycle pe. Prom night ke liye jaate hai. प्रॉम में क्या होते हैं वो दारू पीते हैं इसलिए उनको क्या होता है इमेसिस एंड यू सी अ डॉक और डॉक समवेयर अराउंड बिकॉज ऑफ इट दस्टम एंड इन योर बॉडी गेट्स रिलीज न हाउ टू रिमेंबर ऑल द ड्रग्स फर्स्ट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दैट ऑल दिज आर एंटी हिस्टेमिन राइट अंडर एंटीमेटिक ड्रग from is for promethazine right dimen is for dimen hydrinate sinar for sina resin and e for meclozine s i c l for cyclozin dox is for toxi doxyl amine okay and additional will be what डाइफेन हाइड्रामाइन ओके अगर आपको डाइमेन हाइड्रोनेट पता है तो डाइफेन हाइड्रामाइन भी पता होना चाहिए ओके सो जस्ट वेट अ मिनट सो द नेक्स्ट क्लास इज आई होप यू शुड रिमेंबर ऑल द ड्रग्स ओके प्रॉब्लम क्या है मालूम क्या इट इज वेरी इजी टू लाइक रिवाइज द एंटायर क्लासिफिकेशन वंस एट द टाइम राइट वेन यू हैव अ बुक इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू बट इन एग्जाम इट वुड बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट राइट सो यू शुड ऑल्सो यू शुड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर what's the title what's the drugs are there what's the title under which they come not only that along with that what are the other drugs in that classification also otherwise you will just mix up the two classification right the peptic acid drugs will come under antiemetic so such silly tricks are necessary okay so we can make your own uh, trick Okay, so this is what I have. Right, the so next class is neuroleptics. Neuroleptics there are only three drugs: prochlorperazine, prochlorpromazine, and haloperidol. Right, and uh, I have just remembered is like neura, neura, para, promaz. Okay. Sometimes the drug's name and the class name is difficult that you cannot even prepare a trick, okay? Or I may not have found the way to remember, but I have just remember it like this: neura para from as neuroleptics, perazine that is prochlorperazine, from as is for promazine, chlorpromazine, and haloperidol. That was uh, missing. Let's try to remember it, okay? So the next class is the prokinetic drug. 
And what are the prokaryotic drugs are? So the tricks to remember which I have prepared is that is Sisa Ne Mosa Ko Dump Kia. Okay, Sisa Ne Mosa Ko Dump Kia. So, Tab Tega Bola. Tega Kya Bola? Meto. Okay. Sorry. मैं तो रोकी थी तेरे को पहले मैं तो रोकी थी तेरे को पहले पर फिर भी तू गया वहाँ उसके साथ हिसा मौसा के पास Now how to remember drugs with this right All this comes under pro kinetics pro kinetics pro की Rocky. Okay. Prokinetic drugs, which are comes under antiemetics, right? What are the drugs with these mnemonics? Sisa is for sisa pride, mosa is for mosa pride, dump for dump is dump, tega for tega zero, right? Meto for metoclopramide, ti for etopride. Okay. Ti for it upright, which is difficult, but you have to remember something like that. And the repeated revision will make you remember for this. The next class is five HT3 antagonist. It's an easy trick, right? All the electrons are five HT3 antagonists, right? Next is adjuvant antimatics. These are dexmethasone, benzodiazepines, dronabinol. Nabilone. Okay, so BZDs are various, so it will be less likely to be asked. Right? But this dronabinol and nabilone, these may be asked. These are the antimatics and dexamethasone also. Remember this, these three are what? Antimatics. The next class is the carbonatives. What are the, the carbonatives? Yeah, the sodium bicarbonate, oil, peppermint, peppermint oil, tincture of cardamom oil of dill, tincture of ginger and all these are used for what? flatulent dyspepsia ok so all these are carbonatives there are some digestants also which are the digestants are uh, hydrochloric acid pepsin, papain, pancreatine diastase or tachydiastase and methylpolysiloxane so important to remember are this HCL all, all the, everyone knows the papain is what proteolytic pancreatine is what is mixture of pancreatine enzyme obtained from hog and pin uh, hog and pig pancreas okay and what does it contain myelase trypsin and lipase all the three digestive enzymes myelase trypsin and lipase diastase and tachydiastase is also important these are amyloidic uh, enzymes and these are the source may is important the fungus aspergillus origin right? and when these are used in the pancreatic insufficient okay so all of these points are I have drawn from KD Tripathi and uh, Nidali Prakashan's pharmacology book so it is very concise and precise okay? so the questions are less likely to be asked out of these okay so to carefully remember watch this and try to make out notes also also I will share the PowerPoint in the group also it will be easy for you to revise this content okay so uh, I will share uh, the images also earlier okay. so the next drug is methyl polysiloxane this may confuse you so you have it is a digest it comes under I just remember and uh, the next okay quinodial and ortsotrial used for what gall bladder problems what is quinodial is it is 
inhibit the cholesterol synthesis in liver and what Ebstradiol inhibits is cholesterol absorption this is synthesis this is absorption that's why I have got this genodal first so first it will be synthesized and then it will be absorbed right so that's why it inhibits the it will be easy to remember like this that it is inhibit the, the synthesis and it is inhibiting the absorption next is the raises this genodal raises a plasma LDL to C dash C uh, cholesterol by reducing LDL okay genodal and genodal is also HMG coenzyme reductase inhibitor right so other points are not that much important next is the laxatives also called as targeted or cathartics and uh, laxatives or aparins are milder in action right what does they do? It eliminates a soft but formed stool. And what the purgatives and cathartics does, they are the stronger in action and they result in more fluid evacuation. Right? Purgative and cathartics. All purgatives increase the water content of feces by hydrophilic or osmotic action acting on intestinal mucosa and increasing the proportion of activity as primary action. These are all purgatives which are increase the water content of feces that's why they give the water feces and the laxative mechanism of action is what they inhibit the na plus k plus ATPase of villous cells and also stimulate the adenocyclase of <coughs> cyclase in rich cells right so the laxative of acts on villous cells also on Krebs cells also. And what they also uh, what they also do they enhance the prostaglandin synthesis in mucosa <laughs> and the structural injury to the absorbing intestinal mucosa cells. Okay, so that is all the mechanism of action of <coughs> laxatives. So how many classes are there? Okay, the main three classes are there. the bulk forming, stool softener, and stimulant purgative. Bulk forming are all the fibers like the bran, psyllium isabula methyl cellulose this is synthesis and these are natural the stool softeners are what toss and liquid paraffin okay these are the stool softeners and what are the stimulant purgative this is important part. what does this these do inhibit the na plus clay plus atp at the basolateral member of villous cell okay now if you don't know whether these villous cells and crypt cells are located I am going to conduct a separate lecture series of human anatomy and physiology. In that, you will understand. Okay, so don't take tension. Next, what are the classes under stimulant purgatives? The diphenylmethane, anthraquinone, 5 ht 4 agonist, and asthmatic purgative. So, which are the diphenylmethanes? Phenyl diphenylmethanes, phenolphthalein, bisacodyl, sodium pico sulfate. Okay, so. These are the three uh, three drugs under diphenyl methane. Okay, phenol, bisacode, and sodium pico sulfate. Okay, next one is anthraquinone. All the Sena and Cascara Sagrada, you must have studied for pharmacognosy in that you know the anthraquinone glycosides are Sena and Cascara. Then the 5 ht 4 agonist. Agonist is what? Lucalop, right? And Lubiproxto. Okay, actually, I have, I think I have prepared one more trick also. Yes, no. So this is what 5 ht 4 agonist through calopride and lubi okay. So five, we have earlier seen 5 ht 3 antagonist. This is 5 ht 4 agonist calopride and lubi okay. The next class is the osmotic purgatives, right? Magnesium salts, sulfate, hydroxide. We have already seen that the magnesium salts are laxative in action. So that is, these are purgatives, sodium salts, sulfate, phosphate, sodium potassium tartarate and lactulose. Lactulose is not bulk farming. Remember, it is what? Osmotic purgative, lactulose. Next is the types of constipation. The two types are spastic constipation and atonic constipation. 
Hertonic means there is no tone in the bowel movements. That's why the bowels will be sluggish. And spastic constipation is why there will be a spasm like moment, uh, motion in the bowels. So that's why there will be irritable bowels. Right? And in the spastic constipation, stool is what? Hard and rounded and stone like. And the hertonic constipation. It is mostly due to the age, debility, and laxative abuse. If you abuse the uh, laxative, that's why it will occur. These are the three types of stools you need. Uh, you will uh, require to form. And what are the drugs that are used? If you want to stop free such which forms in almost one to three days, use bulk formin, DOF, liquid paraffin, lactulose. If you want a semi-fluid feces use phenolphthalein, bisacoric, sodium bicosulfate and sen. And water evacuation occurs with what? Saline purgatives and castor oil. Okay. Next is WHO RS formula. Remember this. Okay. It contains KCL, NaCl, trisodium citrate, glucose and water. Okay. Along with the quantities also. Okay. It's also the DACA fluid is what? It contains Sodium chloride, potassium chloride, and sodium bicarbonate. Antimicrobials are of no value in where? In diarrhea due to non infective causes. Which are those causes? Such as irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, pancreatic enzyme deficiency, tropical sprue, and thyrotoxicosis. Remember this, huh? this may be a question. Then, one, what is a rotavirus? It is the along with diarrhea causing viruses, it is not amenable to chemotherapy. Rotavirus A B antimicrobials come near. Then is the salmonella food poisoning. Generally, self limiting disease or, uh, and infants or immunocompromised patients may be treated with ciprofloxacin and azithromycin. Okay, then antimicrobials are useful in only in where travels travelers diarrhea due to the E. coli, Compelobacterial virus, Cotrimoxazole, North Life Sun is then EPC, Cotrimoxazole and Fluoroquinolone or Cholestine in Shigella enteritis, Ciprofrox or North Luxus in UC. So these are some of the important in Shigella enteritis, Ciprofrox or North Luxus in In Travelers diarrhea, Cotrimox, North Luxus. In the, in the next is non typhoid salmonella, fluoroquinolone study, Yersinia entercolitica, cotrimoxazole is used. Okay, these are specific drugs used in this, so you should remember. Then the antimicrobials anti are regularly useful for what? Cholera, tetracycline, Campylobacter jejuni, Norflux, and fluoroquinolone, Clostridium difficile. The intercolati DOC metronidazole is used. Okay. Diarrhea associated with bacterial growth and diverticulitis, the tetracycline and metronidazole is used. In amoebiasis and giardiasis, what? Metronidazole and tiloxanide furoate is used. Okay. So although these are somewhat difficult to remember, but you should have a lot to look over these. Okay. In the probiotics in diarrhea, what are those? Just remember this name, okay? Lactobacillus species, you must know. Bifidobacterium, Streptococcus fecalis, Enterococcus species, and uh, yeast Saccharomyces boulardii. Not Saccharomyces cerevis, it is boulardii. And the drugs for irritable bowel disease are what? Types of, so you will see the types of irritable bowel disease. These are what ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. The Crohn's disease basically contains from GIT from mouth to anus, and the ulcerative colitis occurs in the anal area, rectal area only. Okay. Next is what are the drugs for the diarrhea and irritable bowel disease? Five M A S A, five amino salicylic acid compounds, which are those: sulfasalazine, mesalazine and osalazine and balsalazide all the sala asa sala right e s a asa all the salazines are under 5 amino salicylic acid diarrhea or irritable bowel disease 
then the corticosteroids or glucocorticoids which are the prednisol or not hydrocortisol okay prednisol or not hydrocortisol then uh, the next class is immunosuppression you are going to study the immunosuppression separately so it will be easy to remember it's not difficult azathioprine methotrexate cyclosporine and infliximab whether there is any trick or not no okay okay so azathioprine methotrexate cyclosporine and infliximab all the four tips you may also find the six on youtube also if you are search okay so remember the amino suppression next class is non-specific anti-diarrheal drug okay so the adsorbents and absorbents are used and which are those except gula methyl cellulose or carboxyl methyl cellulose these are absorbents and adsorbents anti-secretary drugs are what adhesic adrotrim bismuth subsalicylate anticholinization of peptide okay so as this is uh, the important are what resticadotrin, bismuth subsalicylate and octreotide okay anticholinization is the vast category okay so these are what non-specific antidiarrheal and the next class is what anti-motility drug anti-motility drugs are opiates codeine diphenoxylate loperamide all are anti-motility then we will uh, this is the part from Nidali Prakashan's book henceforth so what are in that is that uh, they have given the gastric acid antacid and the direct neutralizing are sodium bicarbonate and magnesium oxide okay so we have we already seen uh, sodium bicarbonate and magnesium oxide is additional the buffers are what sodium citrate and trisilicate magnesium trisilicate buffer plus partial neutralization occurs with what hydrated aluminum oxide and an exchange resin the antacids are three types systemic directly neutralizing HCl they are what sodium bicarbonate sodium citrate they alter the blood pH also this that's why they are called as system the non systemic ones are aluminum hydroxide aluminum phosphate and magnesium trisilicate they cannot alter the blood pH next class is complex antacids magaldrate almagate and hydrotalcate okay then the purgatives types of purgatives are irritant purgatives which are those anthracin group Rubarb, Henna, Aloe and Cascara. Drastic purgatives are what? Croton oil and Protophyllum. Drastic means what? Have higher effect. Mild ones are what? Castor oil, Sphenophthalene and Bisacodyl. Okay. Bisacodyl contains, uh, dull colax contains what? Bisacodyl. Next is the bulk purgative, saline and others. Saline means magnesium sulfate, sodium potassium tartarate, potassium phosphate, and others are methyl cellulose, sodium CMC, plantago, agar agar. Lubricant purgatives are what? Mineral oil and dioxyl sodium sulfosuccinate. Then the antidiarrheals, gastrointestinal protectives and adsorbents, which are those pectin, activated charcoal, charcoal, and light cavalry. What the pectin does, it coats mechanical. What the activated wood charcoal does, alkaloids poisoning, and it is used in alkaloids poisoning like morphine and stretching. Light kaolin does what? It adsorbs bacteria and bacterial toxin. Light kaolin. Next class is gas drugs affecting gastrointestinal motility. These are what? Opiates, codeine, belladonna alkaloids, like uh, which is atropic used to relieve colic associated with the diarrhea. Then the emetics, centrally acting on chemoreceptor trigger zone. These are what? Morphine, apomorphine and nalorphine. The peripheral acting ones are what? Mustard, copper sulfate, antimony potassium tartarate and hypertonic sodium chloride. And both peripheral and centrally acting are what? Epicac and cardiac glycoside. Then the anti-emetics. These are what? Phenothiazine derivatives, chlorpromazine and perphenazine. The drugs used in motion sickness, hyoscine and antihistamine, neclizine and cyclizine. Okay. Vomiting in pregnancy for uh, drugs used for vomiting in pregnancy are neclizine, cyclizine, promethazine and diphenhydrazine. Okay. 
so i think this is the last okay this one is the last right which are the appetizers appetizers are bitters alcohols and miscellaneous bitters are what gentian quassia syrata and nasonica these are the bitters miscellaneous are what is the insulin vitamin b12 and anabolic steroids okay these are what miscellaneous appetizers digestions you have already seen the pepsi pancreatin bile the new ones are what tetrodiacid and fluorant uh, fluorant fluorant tyros is a synthetic agent hydro as well as hydrochloric and the tetrodiacid is obtained from fungus which acts on carbohydrate carminative carminative uh, ducts used to expel gases okay. these are what cardamom ginger fennel asafoetida and all methyl polysilicone like samethicone dimethicone these are used in flatulence as a deforming agent the last point is appetite suppressant also called as anorexia right. these are what amphetamine related compounds and uh, are the bulk anorexants what does they do they stimulate the hypothalamus so these are all the drugs and the classifications of the drugs which acts on digestive system okay so it's easy to most uh, remember most of the drug okay Uh, they are, although they are not so much difficult but even if you find it difficult uh, make your own mnemonics uh, okay or also if you want to remember these uh, classes as i have said i will send the uh, images and this telegram group the link which i will uh, paste in the description okay so have a good day and uh, keep revising uh, as because of the corona i have stuck uh, at in my house only so i could not do a much better presentation but still these are uh, worthy i think so keep revising uh, even though the exams are postponed but they will uh, likely to be uh, held in next 2 to 3 months because the government has recently understood the importance of uh, the health infrastructure they should have so although others exam might not occur but this pharmacist exam is likely to happen more uh, earlier okay so keep revising have a nice day